This is the weekly tarot card reading for September 26th through the 30th, okay? And this Friday the 30th, we have a dark moon. So I will be doing a separate video with a Celtic cross spread for the dark moon specifically, okay? But for now, let's just get into this weekly reading. Now I align myself with the Most High God and the Holy Spirit Hecate. Please communicate the truth to me through these cards so that I may be guided for the highest good of all. I thank you and salute me. Please give us your divine guidance for this week so that we may use it for the highest good, greatest joy and success. Thank you and smote it be. Okay. Looks like we have some beautiful energy this week. The first card is the Ten of Blades. Now, when you first look at the details of this card, it might not look like a good card with a good meaning. But it really is because the Ten of Swords is about a it's like hitting the reset button okay can this focus for me okay it's about hitting the reset button it's about uh, a new beginning after great upheaval and great darkness and just great chaos so uh, the energy that I'm getting from this going into the week is that we are exiting a time of great upheaval, chaos, darkness, a lot of destruction, things coming to an end. But what ended, what was being destroyed, truly was not serving us, okay? It was, um, it was bad things for us that have come to an end, okay? So we don't need to mourn the loss of those things, um, even if we don't understand precisely at this moment how those things were not good for us, how they weren't serving us, how they weren't for our highest good, how they weren't supporting and nurturing us um, to our highest good. They really weren't, and you will come to recognize that. Um, as things progress, okay? So, just understand that the universe has taken care of these things for you. Um, even if you didn't understand what was happening, they have been cleared away for a reason, okay? And uh, it, will be, it will start to become more clear. A lot of times with spirituality and following the guidance, of spirituality and spirits like goddess Hecate and uh, whatever gods you believe in and serve or just work with, um, one of the main things of working with spirits is that they will guide you to do things and you will not understand it in that moment, but you just do it anyways. And as time progresses, you will come to see what that guidance uh, truly meant for you, okay? So that's the energy I'm getting from this card of coming into this week. Have faith. Know that the hardest part is over. And know that um, this is a new beginning for you. There are new things coming into your life now, which will be better than what ended. So even if you think that what ended was something good, was something safe and secure, what's coming into your life now is going to be 10 times better than that, okay? If not more, all right? So have faith um, and be open to what's coming. And now, in the... 
I'm sorry, I don't know why I said it like that. But the next card that we have is the uh, Ace of Coins. And this is a really beautiful card. Okay, maybe I should not have apologized for saying it the way I did. It looks like now is coming into your life. Everything I just said of what was coming with this. The Ace of Coins is about a complete a new beginning for you when it comes to your home, your health, your finances, uh, your security, your stability. Okay. And this is such a, a, such a beautiful card because it represents the divine uh, giving you this gift. Okay. So what's coming into your life this week is going to be the new beginnings that you have been desperately wanting, okay? It just has taken the removal of what was blocking these new beginnings for the divine to then set those new beginnings into your life, okay? So this is such a beautiful reading so far. Now, the final card is the Hermit what's in this deck called the old man and this card is about how basically how we seek our own inner guidance the divine speaks to us inside of our own self many people search for the divine outside of them but in truth the divine speaks to you most concisely, most uh, often, and most powerfully from within your own self, through your own intuition, through your own higher self, through your own higher mind, okay? You have to understand that you are not separate from the divine. The divine is embodied in everything that exists, including inside of you. So, your own thoughts, your own plans, your own desires that are in alignment with your highest good, that is the divine giving you guidance. You are part of that divinity, okay? And so, it looks like by the end of this week, Not only have we listened to the divine guidance already, but more divine guidance is going to keep coming in because you listened, okay? So, overall, with this entire spread, what I'm getting is that this uh, time of transition that we've all been going through, the darkest parts of it, the destructive, breaking down parts of it, are coming to an end this week and it's because we truly allowed ourselves to let go of those things okay now these new beginnings are going to come in because we allowed the past to be cleared away and at the same time we're going to start getting even more divine guidance so uh, we can expect that now the divine does communicate with us through synchronicities through outer signs and omens and stuff like that but we're going to start getting more guidance within ourselves because we actually have listened to what we think is right what we think and feel is right for our highest good which is the divine guidance internally the more that you listen to that to your own inner voice the more guidance that it will give you and the more that you will continue to keep listening to it, okay? So, that's the energy I'm getting. This week looks amazing. And we will see when I do the next reading of the Dark Moon uh, Celtic Cross Spread for this Friday, um, what more comes to light for the end of this week, okay? But this is just a very beautiful spread, and I want you to know that um, 
everything that you've been working towards it looks like it's going to really start to pay off this weekend. I mean, this week, okay? So, I hope that you have a lovely week. Um, thank you for liking, sharing, comment, and subscribing on my videos. Thank you for just the lovely comments that you all leave me. Um, that's why I do what I'm doing right now. That's why I do these readings. Uh, and I hope that you take any messages that you get from this um, and inspiring and um, empowering way. Okay? Hail to the witches and blessed be.